Oh, good morning. As you can see, we got snow. I'm hoping. So last night when I came out, uh, Autumn's, she's got one teeth that's different than the other. It's bigger, so it's harder for the um, babies to drink out of it. And it had been enlarged. And I don't want her to get mastitis. So I had to literally milk that side of her down. And then when I walked back by later to check, he had, he had drank all the milk out of it. So I'm hoping that because I took care of that, that he's been able to stay on top of it. Otherwise, it's going to be longer for me to be out here because I'm going to have to make sure that she got milked out. Or she get milked. I did not check the temperature when I left. Side. It was right around freezing yesterday. Ooh, it's like 28. How's our water? Is it frozen? Yes, dang it. Alright. Let me find... Let me find your truck. Put you up on this. Hoping that not all of them are frozen. Get my glove back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes chickens make the weirdest noises. Um, what's going on with this finger? These were cheap gloves and the hay catches on them. And this finger is missing the inside. They're really warm. And I like using them a lot. Let me turn the thing on. See how much water I have in my should my microphone still on. Yeah. Hey Rowan buddy. <clears throat> Alright. There's one. <coughs> and dump that. Alrighty, we have some waters to dump outside. Mm. <clears throat> we'll fill up some fresh waters. I don't fill up the waters. We won't have water because it's ice. And one, two, one here. Hi, babies. I did fill up their hay last night. Let us see. one water's got quite the block of ice in it. Whew. Oh no, Rowan, are you coughing? I don't like that. Alright. Okay. One, two, one, two. Oh no! We're overflowing. <clears throat> hey, 
Hey, Artie Farty. Who's my boy? Hi, my. Hear ya. Everybody's got to complain. Hmm. Oh. All right. I think I have a water for everyone. Get Artie first. He hardly ever goes first. Come on, baby boy. Oh, you ate most of your hay. I'll fill that back up. Oh, your water's slightly frozen. Just a teeny tiny bit. Oh, you stink. Oof, Lord. Stink. How's your udder? Did you let him milk it dry last night? Okay, you have hay. I know. Hang in there. I'll be in in a minute. Oh, snuggled up with the baby. Okay. For them. Ooh and you're watching, just rolling. Get down. Get down. Get down. Don't jump on me. All right. <laughs> Hi, Clyde. Why are you staring at me like that? Hmm? Hey, boy. Get some corn. You have a cough this morning. What's up with that, huh? Buckets here and they're stuck together. There we go. All right, Billy Boy. Billy Boy. <clears throat> How's my Billy Billy? How's my Billy Billy? My Billy good? Take you down. That's me when I go down to check on the bye bye. And the mama. I can hear her. She's like, is it my turn yet to eat? I don't want fresh grain. I want lots of grain. So I can make lots of milk. How are we doing, Mom? How's our udders? Oh, I can't tell. <clears throat> hmm. It looks a little big, but not too bad. Are you going to let him nurse and clean and empty that in udder, or what? Hi, cutie. Hi, baby boy. Do the other one. This one. This one, love bud. This one. Nope. 
this one. This one. Stop it! Stop. Nope. 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 You need to let. Ow! 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 My leg doesn't bend that way. <sighs> okay, now you got. I know it's a little tender, but you gotta let him. Mama. You gotta nurse that down, baby boy. You just wear her out, okay? You wear her out, young man. You wear her out, okay? Can you do that, Blitzel? Can you do that, baby boy? Hmm? Look at those knees. Oh my goodness. Where are you going? Where do you think you're going? What do you think you're doing? Hey. Yeah, she's not engorged like she was last night, so hopefully. When you get engorged, it gets sore. Yeah. Hi. Hi, love bug. Hi. How's my little boy? How's my beauty boy? How's my handsome man? Huh? How's my baby? Hi, baby. My baby boy. This is so important, guys. <clears throat> you don't handle these babies? You don't get them to trust you? Hi. You're going to headbutt me already. And on less than two weeks old. Hmm? Hmm? Hi. Hi. I was worried yesterday because I kind of had to push his mom around and it stressed him out. But he's just fine now. I hope you guys are seeing this. He's just fine now. Yeah? Chill. You gonna crawl in my lap? Hmm? Your cousins used to do that when they were your size. You're so cute. You're so cute. You're so cute. Who's sniffing me? Is that you, Casserole? No, it's gotta be either Pip or Beatrice. Hi. Hello. Hello, little love bug. <clears throat> He's like, I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna run out this door. I'm gonna go bounce down the hallway. Well, I feel bad because you won't have anybody to really play with besides your mama. No, well, you're not leaving. Oh, let's get up. Okay. Yeah, I know. I don't know if you got to see any of that. He's so sweet. I was hoping you did. He's a sweet little booger. Spoiled. He's going to be spoiled like his daddy. Yeah, I see you wag that tail. I see you. I see you. I see you. <laughs> yeah. Hi, baby. Oh, really? You want to play, don't you? All right, we'll play this afternoon. I'm only working a half day. Um, I gotta give that guy some more. I don't feel like even cleaning this up, but I will. Because <clears throat> it needs to unfreeze so that I can put it all outside. Ooh, I left the door open. That's not smart. What do I even have you? I have you looking at me, maybe? Let's go get some corn to the horses. My cat pooped outside the litter box in there. I'm not sure why. Um, corn for these crazies. That's your water. Oh, you have two waters in here. That's right. Why is there an egg in the middle of the floor? I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. 
Mm -hmm. Well, there's some eggs in here too. Are you broody or what are you doing in here? Chicken licking. Mm -hmm. These guys are so gross. Hey, are you laying an egg? What are you doing? Oh, nothing. I'm just sitting in there. Oh, all right. <laughs> Let's go through the horses real quick. I did re redo the lock on them. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you, ghost. Yes. And I locked it because last night you opened it and the cold air was coming in. And then the goose came in and pooped on my floor. <clears throat> <clears throat> and I don't need those kind of shenanigans. Shenanigans. I think there used to be a bar where I grew up called Shenanigans. It was like a restaurant. What kind of restaurant? <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. There's hay there. There's hay there. Oh, you ate almost all that hay. Good job. Okay, don't run into me. Oh. Got to stop stepping on these. You need to find your pans. No more metal ones. I still think that like cheap dish pans would work better. Oh. Do I need to throw out more hay? I think I do. I think I do. Turkey lurkey. Here. There you go. There's some on the floor. Hi. Hi, handsome. How are you doing? Oh, I left you guys over there. Ooh, water. How's the water? Give me some hay and water. Well... Turn on the water. Grab a flake of hay. It is March 1st. We have made it through supposedly the coldest months. <clears throat> you have to warn people. Away up here by Canada. That's because it's March 1st. That does not mean going to be nice. Doesn't mean winter's over. Oh. I really don't have much to talk about today. I took a couple days off filming. Had a sore throat with a sinus. <clears throat> it's called drainage, post nasal drip. Post in the back of your neck, nasal, yes. Yeah, that's what it is. I wouldn't call it a drip. I think I'd call it a flood. That's ridiculous. Start off just sneezing. Like on Tuesday. Tuesday. Whatever day it was. And it went to the sore throat in the morning because you got post nasal drip. Nobody wants post nasal drip. And now I'm just like a faucet. Now I really have the drip. But not post nasal. I should walk around with it. He's a Kleenex up my nose. I'm not going to do this one because I locked that one. I'm tired. I'm tired of crap. Alright, you guys have water. I already need hay. That's what we need to do. We need to give the poopy head there some hay. 
Yeah. Ready, ladies? Yeah. All right. Oatmeal sounds so good this morning. Maple syrup and butter. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have my own butter again soon. What's up, my little, my little casserole? We still have quite a bit of hay in here. Yeah, I know. You want more. It's not good enough, is it? It's not good enough, Artie? Hmm? It's not good enough. He said, no. All right, let's get this through. So it's not big enough. I can't really put my horn in it and pull on it. No, I like to throw the hay around if at all possible. It makes me feel manly. Get out my aggressions on the hay bag and then pee on my face. I'm a billy goat, as a billy goats do. I could write children's stories about goats. They're so silly. They're so silly. I do like them. <coughs> and one of the pages people were writing about. You know, we want to do our own milk. What do you think about goats versus cows? Everyone's like, oh, well, you get a mini cow. Have you priced a mini cow? It is no joke that they're expensive. Like, wow, really? And if you don't have enough land, I mean, you can keep goats on like an acre. Keep goats on an acre and a half. You have to supplement some. We live in a place where there's a lot of landscaping. You know, neighbors cutting down maples, certain firs. As long as they're not poisonous trees, people bring you that stuff for free. Yay. We had an apple tree that um, <clears throat> we had to take down. It was a was it a Fuji? It was wrong for the climate we were in, and it wouldn't. It couldn't grow well. <coughs> no, mamas, I'm leaving. So we ended up taking it down. We had a neighbor he had. They got like, they were big goats like these two. Um, they got some property, and I guess they assumed that they were going to homestead. And uh, so they, you know, went out and got five weathers, which is what he is. Mitch, if you're going to put five acres, five weathers, five full-size goats on a half acre, you're going to have to feed a lot. Yeah. Because you figure I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight now. But the ba counting the baby, I have eight. And they'll eat a bale a day. So, <coughs> so between the horses and the goats, I go through two bales a day. No, I could scale back, which is what I'd probably do if I can get some decent money out of these guys. And sell. <coughs> I should sell a couple of the girls. I should sell. So, so I so, really like the cinnamon's behavior. It's so Pip and Beatrice. Three hundred for the pair. Four hundred if they take Rowan too. Well, I'll see what they're paying at the auction. You take them down. Summer. Just they're breeding. 
keep Beatrice because she's out of autumn. It's a good milking line. Anyway, look at that sunrise. Oh, oh it's Friday. I gotta get food for my birdies. They're all waiting for me. Look. Yeah. <laughs> They're waiting. Yesterday we had over 100 birds back here. All right. You guys have a great Friday. Bye.